everybody, it's Jess here and I'm here to talk to you all about expat living in Hong Kong. So recently, I received so many messages from you guys wanting to know all about the 0 plus 3 scheme, which is what you need to follow in order to enter Hong Kong. So I know it can be pretty overwhelming. So today, I'm going to make a quick video of the steps and processes of the 0 plus 3 to help you understand what exactly you need to enter Hong Kong. Again, please follow the government website for the most up-to-date and accurate information on entry into Hong Kong. Please take everything that I say with a grain of salt and I'll link all the links that you need in this video in the description box below. Recently, it was announced by the government that all tour groups are allowed to enter premises that previously would not allow the Ember Code. So this was just announced recently, so please keep yourself most up to date with the government website. And just a few days ago, it was announced that starting from November 17th, visitors who have just arrived in Hong Kong, i.e. Amber Code people, will be allowed to enter venues such as theme parks, museums, exhibition halls, but not to places where you have to take off your mask and eat like restaurants and bars. So first of all, you need to be fully vaccinated in order to enter Hong Kong, which means two doses of an accredited COVID-19 vaccine taken at least 14 days prior to your departure to Hong Kong. However, if you do want to be like a normal person and enter restaurants, bars, clubs, museums, etc., you need to have at least three doses of COVID-19 vaccine. So I'm going to put a summary here of the processes and the steps that you need for the 0 plus 3, and then I'm going to talk into detail for each of these steps. So first of all, for the pre-departure, you need to do a RAT test, a rapid antigen test, 24 hours prior to your departure to Hong Kong. You can self-administer the RAT test and take a picture of the result for your records. After your RAT test, you should fill the online health declaration form. Please note that for the online health declaration, there is a field for you to enter your phone number. So please make sure that the number that you're inputting into that box is either a Hong Kong telephone number or a international telephone number that can receive SMS text messages from the Hong Kong government. This is because because your day zero PCR test results will be sent to that number. Also, all notices from the Hong Kong government will be sent to that number. Now, for the contact address, it requires you to put in a residential address. So I'm not sure what would happen if you're staying in a hotel the whole time, but I recommend that you borrow a friend's or a relative's residential address to put into that field. After submitting, the system will generate a green QR code, and I recommend to fill in this health declaration form on your phone because you can then screenshot that green QR code which is essential for you to board the flight and for other processes later. Uh, when you screenshot it, make sure you are screenshotting the green QR code along with the information in the box below. Then once you're done with the QR code, you should upload your COVID-19 vaccination records on the COVID-19 vaccination records form where the form will ask you about the type of vaccine you receive and how many doses you have received and then you will need to upload a photo of your vaccination record on the site. And once that is done, a vaccine pass will pop up and that is the vaccination record that you would be using in Hong Kong. Uh, I also recommend you to download the Leave Home Safe app, which I will explain what it is later on. But you can use that QR code that was generated from the vaccination record uh, to upload onto your Leave Home Safe app, which is also your vaccine pass. So now you are going to the airport. You got all that done. So what you need to do is you need to show your green QR code and COVID-19 vaccination record form to board the flight. Now, you have arrived at HKG, which is the Hong Kong International Airport. What would happen is they will usher you to the section where representatives will check your green QR code. And then you will need to do a free PCR test, but the results will be given to you the next day. And then you proceed to get your baggage. So now you have left the airport, now you've arrived at home or your hotel. Now you need to download your notice of medical surveillance. So following the instructions on the website, you need to use that, remember that green QR code? Under the green QR code, there is a series of numbers and letters. So you need to take the last four digits and also the identification document you used to register earlier to generate the notice of medical surveillance. So once you get that, it is a PDF, make sure 
sure you save it because you will need it later. And then I recommend you to book your PCR test, which you will need to book it for days 2, 4, and 6. The government will send a SMS message to that registered contact telephone number that you initially provided. It'll let you know which days you need to book your appointment. I recommend to book it because now they're not allowing walk-ins. Uh, unless you registered on your Leave Home Safe app, there's like a PCR test uh, registration section, but still just recommend you to uh, book it online. Oh, when you are booking for your PCR test, you can use a new contact number. So for example, if you get a new SIM card when you arrive in Hong Kong, you can use that new number. It is important once you book the slots for your PCR test, the government will send you a confirmation code. And then when you arrive at the center, they will need to take a look at that confirmation code with the time to let you in to take the PCR test. Okay, so now you need to do a RAT test for days 1 to 7 and you need to record this on the medical surveillance site. So remember that notice of medical surveillance? Uh, you need to take that out and on page 1, on the bottom right side, there is a tiny tiny QR code and you need to take the last four characters of that tiny QR code to input into the medical surveillance site to upload the results of your RAT test. And you have to do this for days 1 to 7. In regards to RAT tests, they are available all over Hong Kong. You can get them from 7-Eleven, convenience stores, uh, pharmacies, and they're relatively cheap. They are about two US dollars, but I recommend keeping a stash with you so you have them ready. And if you are looking to go into some bars and clubs, they do require you to have a negative RAT test prior to entering the premise. If you are thinking about going to a bar or a club, make sure that you do an RAT test. Take a picture of it, put your name, first name, last name, your date and then the time that you did the test take a picture of it because you will need to show it to the security guard at the door make sure you go to your PCR testing on days 2, 4, and 6 okay so from days 0 to 3 your leave home safe vaccine pass will be amber which means you cannot go to restaurants, bars, pubs uh, there's a list of it link in box below but you can walk around Hong Kong you can go on the MTR because it does not require you to scan the QR code uh, and they don't need to check your vaccine pass which I will explain. On day 3 exactly at 9 a.m. if you have followed everything and you have not tested positive for COVID your QR code on your Leave Home Safe app should turn from amber to blue which means you can enjoy Hong Kong like a regular person. So now about the Leave Home Safe app this is a contact tracing app slash vaccine pass so what you need to do when you're entering a premise you look for that poster with the giant QR code it's green it's got a blue QR code on it you scan it with your Leave Home Safe app which means that you have entered the premise and once you've scanned it, it will pop out your vaccine pass and hopefully it's blue because it should be blue and then the staff will need to scan your vaccine pass to let you in. So that's it. I hope it's not too complicated. If you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up and click subscribe for more on expat living in Hong Kong. Bye guys!